Hi, I'm Jay from SEK Surebond, and today we're going to talk about how to remove previously applied sealer. Before you begin a surface restoration, you may need to remove any old sealer. If you are uncertain if sealer is present, perform a water test. Use a water bottle close to the surface to place a few drops of water. If the water is quickly absorbed, there is no sealer present. If the water beads up and is slow to absorb, it is safe to assume sealer is present and should be removed. Sherbon's Sure Strip effectively strips away a variety of sealers, polymers, and resins. It can also remove paint spots. Before you begin, check that the weather forecast and site conditions fall within the application guidelines found on the label or tech data sheet. Remove any furniture and cover plants that you wish to protect. You will need a stiff bristle broom, sprayer, flat surface cleaner attachment, and pressure washer. Be sure to test the stripper on your surface to determine the effectiveness and required dwell time you will need for successful sealer removal. Allow test areas to dry thoroughly before evaluating final appearance and results. Spray the stripper on the surface. If the surface is sloped, apply stripper from the bottom of the slope working upwards using a side-to-side -side motion. Let dwell for 10 to 15 minutes. If the stripper starts to dry during this time, spray additional stripper. On large projects, it may be necessary to work in smaller, more manageable sections. To check if the stripper and sealer are ready to be removed, complete a scratch test. If the substrate is visible, then it's time to rinse. If it is not visible or the sealer is gummy and hasn't released, apply a second coat of the stripper and let dwell an additional 10 minutes before retesting. To assist with sealer removal, agitate the surface with a flat surface cleaner attached to the pressure washer or a stiff bristle broom. Next, rinse thoroughly with the pressure washer while the stripper is still wet. Do not use excessive high pressure, which can damage the substrate. When necessary, manage rinse water containing old sealer and stripper by reclamation to prevent runoff into a storm sewer. Let the surface dry to view final results. If the sealer is still present, you may need to repeat the sealer removal process. The surface should be completely dry before proceeding with joint sand installation or applying a sealer. SEK Sherbon products are professional grade and field proven for over 30 years. We offer technical support and training, which is critical to your success with surface restoration. For more product information and additional videos, visit us online at sek.us.com.